WordPress is open source, meaning that it is free to use and free to modify. But what powers WordPress? Well, it is something else that is also open source, and that is PHP. PHP being hypertext preprocessor. PHP is a side server language. Now, we don't really need to worry about that either, but what does it actually mean? When somebody visits your site, their browser is going to send a request to your hosting server. That's where PHP comes into play. It's gonna fetch from your database and generate the HTML page that the person is going to see. Essentially, it's the magic ingredient that makes your website interactive. I'm James, this is WP Beginner. Do like the video and get subscribed to the channel so you can pick up all of our videos, giving you a breakdown of all the terminology you need to know when you're using WordPress. You'll find plenty of php.php files across your site, and they're essentially all of the information that is required for WordPress and your website to react the way it's supposed to and look the way it's supposed to. Now, there are different versions of PHP and it's important to keep up to date just the same way it is updating your phone. Now, you don't need to worry about it. You don't need to become some kind of PHP coding expert or backing up expert if that's a thing because companies like Bluehost are gonna offer you the latest PHP versions with their WordPress packages because you're gonna need hosting to be able to work on WordPress. And that is one of the best things about WordPress. You don't have to be able to write a single line of code in order to be able to generate the website that you absolutely want. So you want to build some amazing pages, then go and get a page builder that's gonna allow you to do it with no code and do it drag and drop. And for that, we absolutely recommend Seedprod. And if you want some information on how to use Seedprod, Click this video right here.